Welcome back. Anytime we talk about managing stress, all ears open up. Bryce Wilds, you're here to help, and it's not with exercise. Uh, there are specific foods. You've got a diet going that can really help us. It's called the GABA diet, so not all of us can, you know, sort of meditate like a Buddhist monk. We have to be more mindful in this day and age. I think there's a lot of anticipation anxiety. Certainly what we're seeing in a clinical sense is that we are, more and more of us in this day and age are being diagnosed with GAD, or generalized anxiety disorder, which includes palpitations, you know, uh, lightheadedness, lack of sleep. This also, by the way, destroys our immune system, okay? So here's the deal. What we've learned, scientists have learned, is there's a great brain-gut connection, all right? When we consume more fermented foods, our gut makes more GABA for us. G-A-B, or GAM, it's a big word, gamma butyric acid, okay? So GABA it is. GABA it is, right, and that relaxes the nervous system. So it's called an inhibitory neurotransmitter. And so what that does is our brain and our nervous system, whether it's this is over anxious or this is and vice versa, it calms it all down. And it doesn't ha come from fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm always talking about eating more of that. Uh, but what it does come from is fermented foods. Okay. okay. So here's a whole bunch of different from fermented foods. So I poured you a glass of uh, kombucha here. Have you had kombucha before? I do like it. Now the thing with kombucha is I can only have a, a good couple of sips and then uh, I, I'm, I'm fine. After that, then I'm it's with upset you. in the stomach. I'm with you. A bit of a beer-like taste, but um, so I'm with you. I don't consume much of that a day. Pu air tea. I'm going to give you a taste of this stuff here. Pu air comes from the Yunnan region in uh, China. Okay, um, and what it is is a fermented like tea, that's Camellia sinensis. So this tea is like cake pressed and then left on shelves, just like vintage wine over the years. So a pretty potent taste, different than regular Earl Grey, correct? Mm -hmm. Different, st uh, stronger, yeah, smooth, stronger flavor. But that is fermented and also increased studies, good studies in the Journal of Clinical Bio uh, Biochemistry, by the way, published that that directly upregulates GABA in the brain, a feel-good, relaxing good neurotransmitter. Good to start the day, end the day with this? Honestly, all day, <laughs> you know, three or four cups of this all day. And by the way, it helps to metabolize, like, you know, weight loss has been another uh, study that I've been reading, and they're called Theobrown, and so it actually helps to, you, you to lose weight. Okay. So kefir, different type of yogurt because it's got extra lactobacillus acidophilus and culture in it, right? Got that, uh, you know what that is? This one right here in the middle. You got me. So that's miso. So that is fermented soy and grain, and then you can use that in soup. Same thing, it's fermented. Okay, this is the theme here. So this is very different from if you order miso soup if you're going to a restaurant. Well, you know what, this is the stuff that they would ultimately use to make your miso soup. Okay. So it starts off as this fermented, you know, congealed block of soy and grains. The point is, it's been left over time with bacterial culture uh, to ultimately have within it a lot of GABA, the mm -hmm. nutrient we're talking about. Uh, sauerkraut, you're familiar with that. Give it a little whirl, this is a sheep uh, cheese, and we've got goat cheese here, and what the difference is to the typical cheese you might eat is it's unpasteurized. Now, caution, we don't want to give this to children, young children, certainly those under two, or anyone who's immune compromised, but unpasteurized real cheese has got a lot of uh, the ability to, you know, regulate this fermentation process in your gut. What do you think of that? It's not bad. Not bad? Yeah. You ever tried tempeh? No, I haven't done tempeh okay, yet. So tempeh is fermented soy. The different, give that a whirl. This one's actually curry coconut uh, flavored. Tempeh, a quick, you know, stir fry, uh, mixed with some vegetables. What do you, what do you think? Nice, really. So, nice. Yeah, so it's again, it's fermented. This is very different than soy or, or tofu. When it's fermented, and by the way, these are all the studies that show to prevent cancer. When in the East, we look at what they do, they eat fermented soy. What we do here is we eat the edamame and the, and the tofu or soy milk, and that might not be so good for guys like us to upregulate some of those phytoestrogens, which then contribute uh, to certain cancers. Okay, You're bringing kimchi. The fire I know you don't love fire, but I this is one of my favorites. At the end of the day, what I want everyone to learn is of all these foods you choose, I want you to try to get three servings of any of these. So one serving each, which is half a cup, into your daily routine. It will definitely help to calm the nerves. If all this stuff kind of intimidates you, yeah and you're not one to experience or try novel things on the palate. This is it right here in supplement form. Looks like we're up to no good on this plate here, but at the end of the day, if you get a quarter teaspoon yeah. of this white powder into your shake, or just into your morning you know, cup of OJ, whatever it is you like, that would be the equivalent of basically three servings of any of these guys. Upregulate up the GABA, downregulate the stress. Great ideas here and this introduction to the diet uh, that uh, you can incorporate at home. Bryce, thanks so much for coming Thank you. Live. Appreciate it. All right, we'll take a quick break. More to come here on BT. Follow along on social. He always has great idea for you and your health. Stay tuned for more.